CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.7, Given a Scenario, Apply Application Installation and Configuration Concepts. Software Architecture. Next we will discuss the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit software architecture, but before we do that, we need to start with the difference between a 32-bit and a 64-bit processor. 32-bit processors are appropriately named as they support instructions that are 32 bits in size. And since you are so smart, I am sure you have already deduced that 64-bit processors are designed to handle 64-bit instructions. This has a trickle-down effect. First up is the operating system. A 32-bit processor is compatible with a 32-bit operating system, while a 64-bit processor is compatible with both 64-bit and 32-bit operating systems. This trickles down a little further, with the same arrangement holding true for applications. A 32-bit operating system is capable of running a 32-bit application, while a 64-bit operating system is capable of running 64-bit applications and most 32-bit applications. Having fun? Great, how about a few more interesting facts? So, when working with these two CPU architectures, you may see the terms x86 and x64. Though there is some history with these terms, you should at least know that x86 is referencing the 32-bit architecture, while the x64 is referencing the 64-bit architecture. I know x86 is confusing to use as a reference to 32-bit architectures and would have been a lot easier to remember if it was x32, but I don't make the rules. Alright, one last fact for 32-bit and 64-bit CPUs, before I move on. A 32-bit CPU will limit the amount of RAM that can be recognized by a computing system to 4 GB. While this number might seem arbitrary, it is a good idea to commit this to memory. As for the 64-bit systems, they also have a limit, but the number is super large and not a real concern. Now, let's talk about how Windows stores software applications based on whether they are 32-bit or 64-bit. Windows uses two separate directories for this purpose, to ensure compatibility and organization. 32-bit applications are stored in the Program Files x86 directory. The x86 in the directory name references the 32-bit architecture. By placing 32-bit applications in this specific folder, Windows can manage compatibility settings and ensure these applications run smoothly on both 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. 64-bit applications are stored in the Program Files directory. This is the default directory for applications on a 64-bit operating system. By keeping 64-bit applications separate from 32-bit ones, Windows helps avoid conflicts and ensures that each type of application has access to the appropriate system resources. Moving on, there is one more topic I would like to cover, and that is software distribution methods. Software can be delivered using one of two main methods, through physical media or by network download. Physical media, such as CDs, DVDs, or USB drives, was once the only method for distribution software applications, but this method has become less common in recent years. This is due to an uptick in downloadable software, which is more convenient and allows easy access to the latest versions and updates. Additionally, some software is provided as an ISO file, which is a disk image containing all the data of an optical disk. These ISO files can be mounted directly on your computer. For example, you might download an ISO file for a 32-bit application. By mounting the ISO and running the installer, you could install the software just as if you were using a physical disk. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.